What's up, Colt? How you doing? Doing really well this morning. What is it today? It is gearing up for Scotland Day. Coffee mugs, got some podcast mics. But test, 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 <laughs> test, test, test. test. <laughs> Colt is live in three countries, uh, packing up some headgear. Uh, but you know, a lot of you guys have been like, "Oh wait, I got to show you one thing before we go to the what's in the bag." Check this out. I'm pretty psyched about this. That's kind of cool. One pencil, just one pencil. Is that kind of douchey? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. People have been asking about what's in the bag, and I think it's time to do it. Uh, so I'm gonna put some slippers on and go into the garage, because as we all know, don't want to go into that garage barefoot. Right, Snowball? So we go, first we gotta get the bag to do the what's in the bag, which is always fun. Um, some thoughts on the way to doing a what's in the bag? I've never done one. No, I think I did one on Reddit once. I did do one on Reddit. Oh, this, you guys have seen this before. Askernish Golf Club. That's a place. One place to rule them all. Look at this, look at this parking job. The reason why I do it that way is because I like to have, come on. I like to have just enough room to be able to get into the laundry area. All right, so we're gonna get the bag out. Let's see. It's not that fascinating to be honest with you. Obviously I rock a Seamus bag. I'm gonna put the camera on top of this uh, suitcase here. Yeah, cool. All right, so, Seamus bag. They're gonna start selling it pretty soon. You know, I might bring, no, no, I'll do it up here. Seamus bag, they're gonna start selling it pretty soon. Aloha print, head, uh, ball marks, one range finder with my name on it. And let's see, down here, got a couple balls, obviously vice balls, one candy wrapper, a couple tees, another vice ball, some shell mix. I mean, just a great assortment of tees. I got, that's a sweet ball mark there. That's from Wyoming. I keep all the other stuff. A lot of gloves. Oh, you know what I rock? Ah, camera battery. Whoops. Always got to have a camera battery. Yo, this thing is tight. It's called the Pill. It's a great little putting training aid that helps you know if you're going online. Some pitch repair tools from Wyoming. Jackson Hole Golf and Tennis. Um... Yeah, a bunch of ball marks. Pasa Tiempo. That's a good one. Memories, you know? All right. Let's get to the clubs here. All right, let's see. We'll start with the wedges here. I got two Vokey wedges that I picked up at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. They had a little party. And they were giving away wedges to the guests. And I was like, I'll take a wedge. They are, I got a 60 degree 12 and a 56 14. They stamped be the ball on them for me, which is pretty sweet. I do really like these wedges, actually. Um, you know, none of this is an advertisement. I didn't pay for any of this stuff. They, no one paid me. But I do really like these, just standard wedge shaft. And then, my irons. I have, <clears throat> looks like six Irons Mizuno JPX 900. I really love these irons. I paid for these. Whoa, my hosels. My ferules are loose. Look at that. I'm gonna get my ferules in check for the big trip. That's bad. Look at that. Is that bad? 
I think that's bad. But look, they got all that sort of, I like the bag chatter. I like all that. And I don't have that many, so let's see. I got gap pitch nine, eight, and then I start skipping clubs. I skip a seven, I've got a six. I skip a five, I got a four. I'm thinking I might want a seven iron, but it's too late. I scratched off all the labels, but this is KBS uh, C Taper Light. I think they're about 110. I really like those shafts. And then I rock a uh, Golf Pride tour wrap here. I, I think I have one wrap and then two wraps on top or the bottom. I don't know. It's all in there. Putter. There's a new putter for me. Brand new Callaway X07, right? I've got a short shaft because I like to putt kind of crouched over. I filled the shaft with sand to make it heavier and I put a couple weights on the back here of lead tape because I like it heavy. Um, and then I got the uh, Ultra Slim Super Stroke. It's a good combo that I'm still getting used to. I used to putt with a Seymour. I'll go get it. This was my baby for a long time. I putt with this thing forever. Um, I just felt like switching it up, you know? I don't know, maybe it was a bad call. Then I got this I put back in my bag recently. I had this in the bag for a long time. TaylorMade R15 uh, 19 degree 3 hybrid. It's seen some days. I do really like this club. This I have an Iomic indicator grip, which I really like. Shaft is a standard speed reflex. I'm pretty sure I got this out of the used bin at Roger Dunn, but I hit it well, you know what I mean? I really like it. Then, driver. I got an Epic Sub-Zero 9 degree. Uh, I love this club. Shaft, I've got the uh, Diamana 70 weight Flex S. Pretty standard. Standard grip. I love this club. This is one of my favorite clubs in the bag. I feel like I can really get on it and the ball doesn't fly like crazy. I also love the way it sounds. Head cover, obviously. Seamus, be the ball head cover here. Love these guys. Made in Oregon. Booyah. Now, for my newest... And one of my favorite clubs here, Rogue Sub-Zero 15 degree three wood. I'm loving this club. Right here we got a uh, Aldilla weight 73.1 S. I like this shaft. Uh, on both the driver and the three wood, I had them shipped to me um, three quarters of an inch over and then we trim it down on the bottom so it's got a little bit of a stiffer tip. Who doesn't like that, eh? will be the ball head cover. Now, why are you watching this video? Maybe because you wanna see something. Now, again, this is not an ad, but Callaway sent me a bunch of clubs, and truth be told, I can't hit them. One of the clubs I can't hit is a Rogue three wood, I'm sorry, driver. There we go. So, Rogue, I hit it a couple times, but it's basically brand new. I'll clean it up for you. Nine degree, sub-zero, with a Diamana 70 Stiff Flex Tour Wrap Golf Pride. Look, we're gonna give this away. Again, it's not an ad for Callaway. I told Chad, I was like, look, I got too many clubs. I can't hit the I can't hit the rogue driver. I like my epic. And he's I was like, do you want me to send it back? And he's like, no, 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 just give it away. It's like someone will love to have it. And I was like, okay, I'll give it away. So to get it, just uh Subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is, this is a mess. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Ugh, everyone's cringing, I'm sure. Uh, and on my Instagram, tag, don't, don't tag Bob Menner, just tag a fucking friend, right? Don't hit my clubs. There we go, everybody. So that's that. What else, Colt? Can't hear ya. What else? Yeah, we're just getting ready for Scotland, baby. Just uh, <laughs> working out the wrist and forearm, trying to get that tightened and loosened for next week. You want to see something? This is one of the references we're looking at for Scotland. Look at all this stuff. Look at all the gear it takes to make something. And this is not even any of it. Oh, this video is sick. Nigel Sylvester, Woo. London to Paris. Yo, Yo. Jake, hold up. Ooh, I see you. Ooh. We see you. Yeah, right yeah. Okay, okay. 
So you got to check this video out. This is why we have all this stuff here. Snowball, you can't come to Scotland, man. I'm so bummed. I wish you could come, dude. It's just not fair. They make it so hard. Right, buddy? Why are you shaking? Why are you shaking? I'm shaking. Anyway, who knows? So that's it. That's it, right? We're just giving away a driver. And it's not an ad. We just made $800. I'm kidding. We didn't make any money. We didn't make any money. Um, what else? Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. Stay oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It comes with the Rogue head cover. I thought I had thrown it away. But if you want, I could throw in that. My friends over there at Origin Golf made a sick head cover. I'll throw that in there. As if it wasn't sweet enough already.